Mitsuki is an American Japanese indie rock singer known for her expressive lyrics and profound commentaries on relationships, depression, the struggles of women of color, and the pressures of society. Each one of her songs is a masterpiece crafted to expand upon the hardships of the human experience and the psychological impact of life. My purpose in researching her songs was to demonstrate the beautiful metaphors of her lyrics and to show how they deeply intertwine with subjects taught over the course of the semester. She sings of drug usage and how it affects the mind and your behavior. She weaves poems of how sensations in the physical world can relate to your memory and how you perceive future experiences. Her melodies find acceptance in aging and learning to change your behavior to avoid harm. The songs lament failed parental relationships and their effect on your adult life. She turns the pain of depression and loneliness into ballads of acceptance, and she chronicles the pains of societal conforming and miscommunication. Overall, Mitsuki is a transformative figure in the musical community, promoting love, the embracing of oneself, and the continued fight for equality in the modern day. She is a comfort to many and an inspiration to all that hear her. And to me, she was a beacon of light that guided me through the toughest times of my life and a source of continued resilience. In conclusion, my findings have brought me to the same revelation that I had achieved years ago. I love Mitski. The first unit I will be discussing in relation to Mitski and her lyrics is Unit 2, Biology and Behavior. Crack baby was a term coined to describe children who were exposed to crack or free-based cocaine in smokable form as fetuses. The concept of the crack baby emerged in the U.S. during the 1980s and 1990s in the midst of a crack epidemic. Other terms are cocaine baby and crack kid. Use of crack cocaine, like other drugs of abuse, induces long-term changes in the brain. Animal studies show that cocaine exposure can cause significant neuroadaptations in neurons that release the excitatory neurotransmitter glucomate. In other words, people exposed to cocaine, especially in utero, have a hard time regulating the pathways in their brain associated with reward and stress. Drug usage during pregnancy can lead to the child being addicted to substances from birth and can have lifetime defects in their brain and behavior. The song Crack Baby focuses on a relationship between two toxic lovers as they struggle with each other and their drug addictions. Down empty streets, These lyrics exhibit their indulgences in drugs, as well as how they inhibit each other from staying clean. It's been a long, hard 20 years, vacation. Oh, these 20 years trying to fill the void. This line exemplifies the idea that they have both been struggling with substance addiction since before they were born as Mitski was 20 years old when she wrote these lyrics, making them crack babies. They refer to their lives as a vacation because they have always rejected their responsibilities and lived indulgently, similar to how most people act only while on vacation. As a whole, this song is a metaphor for feelings of emptiness and depression. The subject's drug usage does not assist in quote-unquote filling the void, but instead leads them on a path of perpetual empty seeking. Just like how crack babies are addicted from birth to a substance that they never used, Mitski and her lover are searching for a part of themselves that they never had. As a neurotransmitter, nicotine increases the brain's levels of dopamine, stimulating its reward centers and making the person ingesting it feel good. It takes just 10 seconds for nicotine to reach the brain after it is inhaled or ingested. Repeated exposure to nicotine changes the parts of your brain that help you handle stress, learn effectively, and exhibit self-control. I 
I Don't Smoke, the singer reminisces about their smoking habits and a direct tie to their current lover. They are reminded of their partner every time they smoke, because they only smoke when they miss or are with them. In a sense, the relationship is a metaphor for nicotine addiction, and able to be happy or function without them. Not a relationship that benefits the singer, however, and they will eventually be pulled apart by the anger and resentment that their partner puts into them, similar to how longtime smokers often fall victim to lung cancer and other health problems due to their addiction. The second unit that I will be focusing on is Unit 3, Sensation and Perception. Pearls are made by marine oysters and freshwater mussels as a natural defense against an irritant, such as a parasite entering their shell, or damage to their fragile body. The oyster or mussel slo slowly secretes layers of aragonite and conicillin, materials that also make up its shell. This creates a material called nacre, also known as mother of pearl, which encases the irritant and protects the muscleless from it. In Mitski's A Pearl, this pearl is compared to a past abusive relationship and how it affects the singer's current romantic life. The touch of another person is related in the singer's mind to hardships endured by them, and so they have created a defense mechanism, or a pearl, to guard against further exploitations or irritations. Their brain cannot conceive affectionate advantage from malicious ones, and this greatly inhibits their ability to enjoy their current relationship. refer to how they are still recovering from their past relationship and the hard sensations that they felt while in. Mitski is both physically and emotionally fulfilled by this relationship, but is still reluctant to bring down their defenses. Fireworks are a staple of celebration and excitement, often associated with 4th of July and New Year's Eve parties. These explosions of color and light can produce a sound output that is in the 150 to 175 decibel range, louder than the average jet engine. In literature and media, fireworks can be used to express both the strong feelings of romantic attraction between two characters and a display of temper and conflict. In Mitski's song, Fireworks, the fireworks are a representation of the still healing wound of a past relationship, combining both ideas. The singer still feels remorseful of their past love and looks forward to a time when they can forget about this person. They try to go on about their normal life while the memory heals. However, the sound of fireworks on warm summer nights is always a sensation that reminds them of their past and reopens the wound.
Just hearing the fireworks is enough to send them spiraling once again, perhaps because of a memory involving fireworks and their old partner, both showing strong feelings of romantic attraction and a display of conflict. Silence is the exact opposite of a loud explosive firework, further showing the degradation of Mitsuki's personality due to her unpleasant experiences. And now to talk about Unit 4, Learning and Memory. Does it smell? As we age, both our minds and bodies deteriorate, lose functionality, and interfere with our quality of life. One example of this is Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a brain disorder that slowly destroys memory and thinking skills and eventually the ability to carry out the simplest of tasks. In most people with the disease, symptoms first appear in their mid-60s. An estimated 6.7 million Americans aged 65 and older struggle with Alzheimer's disease. 73% of those being over 75. The idea of growing up and losing parts of yourself along the way is the main idea of two slow dancers. Does it smell like a school gymnasium in here? It's funny how they're all the same. The singer reminisces about their school days dancing in the gym with a high school sweetheart. In one line, she sings that she always remembers what it's like to be a teenager attending her school dances, and yet, in the next line sings that she has since forgotten about these memories. This implies that as she ages, she is beginning to lose the functionality of her long-term memory, forgetting an essential part of her relationship and childhood. We're just two slow dancers last ones out. This line implies that all of their childhood friends have either passed away or are unable to dance anymore as they age. And the ground has been slowly pulling us back. She realizes that she doesn't have much time left on earth, and the signs have been showing up on her physical body as well as her mental state. It would be a hundred times easier if we were young again. Before, she sang that she's danced with this person hundreds of times before and now laments that it would be so much easier to dance if they were younger. Overall, Two Slow Dancers is a song of aging lovers trying to cope with their deteriorating minds and bodies. Dementia causes the singer to lose important memories of their past and relationship, and for other people in their life to be unable to join her in the school gymnasium once more to dance. Despite the struggles that she faces, she continues to dance, an act that may even be directly correlated to her outlasting her friends' memories and bodies. Listening to and performing music reactivates the areas of the brain associated with memory, reasoning, speech, emotion, and reward. In studies done on the matter, healthy elderly people scored better on tests of memory and reasoning after they had completed several weekly classes in which they did moderate physical exercise to musical accompaniment. Her dancing is directly correlated to her continued life, as well as her partner's. The behavior of all animals, from bacteria to humans, is guided by its consequences, both positive and negative. This idea is expanded upon in the concept of operant conditioning, a process by which humans and animals learn to behave in such a way as to obtain rewards and avoid punishments.
Stay Soft is a song focused around the singer's attempt to help a person to open up to a new relationship after them being hurt in the past. Mitski recognizes the internal conflicts of her partner and how it harms them, similar to a knife in their side. Open up your heart like the gates of she encourages her lover to put down their emotional defenses, but at the same time acknowledges that this may further harm them, comparing their heart to the gates of purgatory. This is where the idea of operant conditioning comes into play. The lover has been hurt before by opening up their heart and being vulnerable with others. As a result, they have learned to close themselves off from their emotions and others as to not further the psychological punishment that it brings. Similar to how dogs avoid electric fences due to the electric shock that they bring. It is now time to talk about Unit 5, Developmental Psychology. Graduation is one of the most important achievements in a person's life, a great accomplishment that marks the end of years of studying, training, and working. However, it also marks the end of an era, new beginnings, and change, both positive and negative. As a part of the graduating class of 2013, Mitski begins her journey as an adult into the working world, but due to her strained relationship with her mother, she is unprepared for the hardships that arise and must turn back to her parent for help. This begins the song, Class of 2013 showing her exhaustion of independent life and her yearning for rest. Not only does she feel the need to stay with her mother, but she needs years to recover herself from her strenuous, solitary life. She begins to plead with her mother, begging for her to help, and promises to leave once she can pay for herself to live alone again. The singer not only wants to mend a broken relationship with their mom, but to turn to the comfort of her support. It is in these lines that we truly begin to understand the relationship between mother and daughter. The singer does not seem to have a secure attachment to their mother, begging and pleading with them to help them when in a state of distress. It is likely that the parent had an authoritarian parenting style while growing up, encouraging their daughter to strive to do their best while not providing the comfort and support that a mother should, leading to their adult child not feeling adequate enough in their life. She longs to be cared for in a way that they didn't receive in their childhood. A person's first love is often defined as an experience that is unique and perfect, with an emphasis on togetherness, sharing, and communication. It is characterized by idealism, innocence, emotional connection, reciprocal involvement, orientation to the future, and a desire for a pervasive presence of the loved one. While most descriptions relate such a love to your first real romantic involvement, 
Others see it as the first person who showed you unconditional and idealist connection and could therefore be attributed to anyone in your life, even a parent. First Love Late Spring is the story of an emotionally neglected child finally finding the love and acceptance that they craved as a child in their romantic partner. This leads to a toxic relationship where their partner has an almost parent-like importance to the singer. The singer cannot sleep without their lover beside them, much like how a child needs comfort from their parents when having a hard time falling asleep. She is supposed to be a free and independent adult but laments about her ability to regulate her emotions and how she often cries like an over-emotional child. So the singer realizes that this relationship is not healthy and shouldn't be sustained, even though they care for their partner a lot and long for the comfort that they bring. Even if they are prepared to leave their relationship, they also realize that they could be easily persuaded otherwise, and any resistance from their partner will change their mind. Crawling is an action mostly associated with babies, toddlers, or people in submissive positions, further showing their power dynamic. As a child, the singer was forced to mature emotionally much younger than usual, likely due to their relationship with their parents and the environment they grew up in. Their parents were likely emotionally or even physically neglectful, uninvolved parents, leading to early independence. They were not able to imprint on an authoritative figure as a child until so they instead imprint upon their romantic partner. We are now continuing on to Unit 6, Abnormal Psychology. Depression is a mood disorder that causes a persistent feeling of sadness and loss of interest. It affects how you feel, think, and behave, and can lead to a variety of emotional and physical problems. People suffering from major depressive disorder may display symptoms of an increase in purposefulness, loss of interest in favorite activities, difficulty in thinking, concentrating, and making decisions, isolation from loved ones, and even thoughts and acts of suicide. Everyone is a song that shows the relationship between a severely depressed individual and their supportive loved ones. Mitski is encouraged by her friends and family to seek help for her depression and not to go down the path that leads to her demise. So, of course, to that I said, I think I'll go that way. Despite their warnings, she isolates herself and turns to self-destructive behaviors to cope with her emotions. Her emotional state is worsening, but she hasn't reached the point of suicide quite yet. And I opened my arms wide to the door. I said, take it all, whatever you want.
earlier in the song, the metaphorical dark, her depression, becomes too much for her to manage, and she attempts to take her own life, with no success. Only after her attempt does she realize how clouded her judgment was, and regrets her decision. Though her past experiences with depression and suicide have only led to regret, she can't help but fall back into her cycle of isolation and self-harm. She returns to her self-destructive behaviors that only further her symptoms, and she again ignores the tried assistance of her loved ones. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. The story of Humpty Dumpty and his demise is one that has been told throughout the world for generations, a tale of caution against taking unnecessary risks that could lead children to harm. Its short and simple nature allows it to be retold and expanded upon in a variety of ways. Humpty is a song that follows the cautionary tale of the singer and their broken world. It shows the aftermath of a psychotic break and its consequences. I'll live in the bathtub It's cool and clean It's smooth and it's steady It's all that I need Mitski cannot deal emotionally with her current state and so instead turns to the solid coolness of the bathtub and the comfort it brings. I broke our belongings They're all on the floor The room is now empty Nothing left to throw Mitski shows all of the four Ds of abnormality. While in the state of distress, the stinger destroys sentimental items of their relationship possibly endangering her and her partners with flying debris. Destroying your own belongings is obviously not behavior that the average functioning person displays, making her actions deviant from the norm. I broke what you gave me, but you kept giving more, and I'm sorry for taking, but I keep The trigger for this episode was likely a disagreement between her and her current partner. She felt as if they were not putting enough effort into their relationship, but after physically breaking their belongings and emotionally breaking their trust, she realizes that she was the one who was in the wrong. Unable to face her broken relationship, she hides in the bathroom and takes comfort from the solidity of the bathtub once more. Much like how Humpty Dumpty was not able to be put back together again, she feels that she cannot mend the damage she has done to their relationship. The final unit that I will be focusing on for this project is Social Psychology, Unit 7. Cognitive dissonance is the mental discomfort that results from holding two conflicting beliefs, values, or attitudes. People tend to seek consistency in their attitudes and perceptions, so this conflict causes unpleasant feelings of unease or discomfort. Oftentimes, even when we know the consequences and negative effects of our actions, we still participate in retroactive behavior and systems because conforming is easier than going against the status quo. Cognitive dissonance is the mental discomfort of seeing something that goes against your morals occur and choosing not to do anything to help. Real Men is a beautiful ballad illustrating the societal pressures and standards of both men and women. 
and how they ultimately harm both parties and destroy the trust between romantic partners. Mitski both seeks to ridicule the stereotypes forced upon men and women and yearns to conform to them in order to fulfill her own desires. Real men don't need other people and real men suck it in. In these first lines, she lists several different harmful stereotypes put upon men in society, and if a man refuses to conform to these standards, he will be ridiculed and labeled as not a real man. She then goes on to state that because she herself meets these standards of a real man, that she must be a real man according to society. Men are often told that to show emotion or seek comfort is to emasculate themselves, and that they must always put up a facade of strength and nonchalance. This is where the idea of cognitive dissonance is apparent in the song. Although Mitski recognizes how the idea of real and fake men only seeks to further the patriarchy and harm both women and men, she also longs to be seen as a quote-unquote real woman, and to satisfy her cravings for love and acceptance. And when little boys hold me, color me, keeps me, make me feel lovely for a little while. She has only ever known the love and laurels of men who emotionally resemble little boys or fake men. So little boy, say you want me, cause well, I can take it. Go ahead, do it, do it. Even though she longs for a stable relationship with a real man, she understands how unlikely it is to occur, and so resigns herself to instead find cheap comfort in a person that she doesn't believe can fully fulfill her. There are a multitude of different reasons that a romantic relationship can end. A lack of trust, financial issues, miscommunications, different expectations, and different life goals are all examples. However, one of the most destructive ways that a romantic relationship can end is by one partner cheating on their significant other. There is nothing left for you is the story of the singer's unfaithful partner and her attempt to move on and accept their betrayal. There's nothing She calmly accepts that the relationship is over and attempts to show her ex-lover that there is nothing left of their romance. So go on to that sweetheart's door and find a new you. Mitski acknowledges the cheater and their mistress, encouraging them to move on to the person that they cheated on them with. In the endings of their relationship, the cheater was likely growing more cold and distant towards her, saving their affection for when they were with their other lover. The mistress in the song has become emotionally dependent on the cheater, and Mitski is content to let go of her partner in order to give her the love that she needs. In this song, one person is unhappy in their romantic relationship, and instead of attempting to communicate this with their partner, they turn to another person, stonewalling their lover and engaging in negative communication. The costs of staying in their relationship outweigh the benefits, and so both parties decide to go their separate ways.